Welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight, um, popping over to Tesco's. Yeah, Tesco's Top Valley, of all places. Um, that's where I go shopping, anyway. For the newest one from Vault City Brewing, um, the Blueberry one, Blueberry Maple, I had the other week. And this was the other of the two brand new releases at Tesco's. £3.50 for the can. It's a triple fruited mango, slightly less ABV. The blueberry, I think, was 6.6. This is 6.2. Why? God knows. Modern sour beer. Doesn't really say anything on, on the can other than that. So, yeah, let's dive in. It's been a cracking day today. The weather's been lovely. Cooled down a bit this afternoon. But uh, at the start of the day, um, got down to my t shirt. Look at that. Look at the colour of that. Proper colour in a Castle Rock brewery glass. Now, I'd like these to come down and do an, a collaboration with Castle Rock, to be fair. They've done one with Neon Raptor, but it'd be interesting to do one with Castle Rock. So, there we go. So, big yellow paw, tinge of yellow on the head. Quite a tarty mango aroma. Right, cheers all. So yeah, um Ooh, all about the mango. That is beautiful. Do you know when sour beers first came out, I thought oh, I'm not gonna like these. But the old fashioned fruit beers were a bit tarty and a little bit soury. And these beers by Bolt City are just amazing because you get the proper flavour of fruit. And I'm a fruit, uh, a lover of fruity beers. So these just tick the old raggy boxes easily. So, as I was saying, cracking day at work. I had to put about 15 or so, probably 20 lavenders in, in a bed to finish that bed off. Then I went on to the other side and um, split a load of plants, planted them in one bed, and then I had to the compost. I made these beds last year, so the eight by eight foot one, uh, square and the two foot deep, and the compost over the year had rotted down leaves and whatnot. So I dug out and I put in 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 this bed about 14 or 15, I can't remember, I lost count, 14 or 15 wheelie bins full of rotted leaves and, and that, and then put the compost back on the top, got the rest of the plants, chopped them up, planted about, I don't know, 500 at least, canted the bells on the top, and it was amazing. Then I did a load of seeds, and then I did two and a half hours, that's after work as well. I did two and a half hours in the Chinese garden mowing their long bloody lawn. So it's been a, been a long day. And while I'm working, over the mower, which is a noisy mower, you could hear the roar in the sky. And I've heard helicopters, that this is near Newark, so it's near the, you know, a bit closer to the sea than what Nottingham is. Uh, and obviously there's, there's RAF. Um, and the roar of, of planes, aeroplanes going backwards and forwards. I tell you what, the noise. And you, and you hear them and, it's, and all of a sudden there's a pop and they've gone. And uh, God knows what was going off, whether it's, for, you know, whether they're getting ready for something more naughty or just practising. Um, you never know, do you? I suppose like all countries at the moment with what's going off, uh, having your air defences at maximum capability um, is, is critical. And um, having your army ready, your Navy, Air Force ready for whatever will come. Let's hope nothing ever happens, you know, but uh, no one wants to be caught on the op. That's for sure. 
So, beautiful looking pour. Doesn't that look good in the Castle Rock glass? Castle Rock, triple fruited mango sour. And the funny thing is, uh, today I looked on, um, on Twitter and Castle Rock are brewing, someone called Danny, I don't know who Danny is, um, is doing the raspberry sour. So loads of raspberries going in, so really interesting. And me myself, I, I'm, I'm interested in doing, um, using fruit in beers. It's definitely something I want to do as well putting fruit in a beer and uh, seeing what happens and uh, like a cherries or plums in a, in a barley wine I keep saying about it and uh, um, hoping to do it hoping you know an expensive year coming up next year I mean not if we even get there at this rate but um, yeah um, I want to do I want to do some some top brewing as well you know we'll see where that goes eh so Malt City don't get the ABV one iota it could be three percent don't taste of any ABV probably one of them that will get you later you know when you're sat in the ass and all of a sudden you're steaming um, like some beers do. Oh, that mango taste is divine. I know they call it a sour beer, but I just love the flavour of these fruity beers. I mean, I'm not really a big fruit person, to be fair. Probably because it costs too much. But, um, yeah, um, that fruitiness just is, 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 is absolutely lovely. So I'm at work for my first full week in about five weeks. Uh, this week I'm at work tomorrow. And uh, yeah. I've had a good week there. Work-wise, I've, I've had a brilliant week. I, I, I've, I've accomplished so much. And yet, mental health-wise, I'm on an absolute damn. Um, the news is just, uh, you know, there must be people all around the world who are watching this with horror. Uh, you know, it does break you. It does. It really does. And you know, we all care, don't we? You know, the, 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 you can't, you can't watch the news and not be shocked. I mean, it's not like this is a country where war was already there. This is a bully coming in. And uh, yeah. Oh dear. But in any case. Um, one amazing beer from the likes of uh, Vault City. This brewery, really, really impressed with their full range of sours, but even their stouts. Um, they had a raspberry white chocolate stout at um, 12%, I think it was. It's funny how I can remember some things, and then other things I just don't remember. Weird. Um, at the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival last year, I even did a sneaky review at the side of the bloke. Yeah, I did one of my one minute reviews, which they will be um, re short reviews, will be uh, absolutely rife across any beer festival I go to. Um, obviously, we're not going too far to beer festivals, um, not with the current climate and the cost of petrol. Um, it's just ridiculous. And, uh, and then getting my wife to travel as well. <laughs> I want to go to Derby and she's not overly infused. Um, it's an hour and a half to get there, hour and a half to get back. And uh, to go to the beer festival. 
But it's the experience, isn't it? You know. We'll see. We'll see if I can chat her into doing it. You never know. I think it'd be a good, good, good experience, regardless of the travel. Um, but you know, sitting on a bus, chilling. And we went up to Sutton and Ashfield, and that was an hour. And then it was a trek to the bus stop. So, um, I just want to see if there's any Trek and Barton buses that go down Mansfield Road. Because that might be a bit of a deal. A deal, um, I'll have to check that out. Does so Trent Barton go down Mansfield Road, A60? Um, it's a hell of a lot closer than bloody Hucknall Road, which is about a 20 minute walk for us. And uh, that would make things a little bit more sweeter, sweeten the deal. And you know, with anything in life, you've got to sweeten that deal, haven't you? You know, to get people to, to bend their will towards you. So anyway, really enjoying this um, after a long day at work. It's really strange because if I was to take myself out of my body and look at, stand back, look at the work I'm doing and the, the, the major pluses that I've done and the, 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 the pushing of both sides that I work at, um, you know, as a boss, if, if I was the boss, I would be absolutely amazed and thankful. And yet myself, I still can't get happy about what I'm doing. It's a strange one, isn't it? You know, mental health is such, it's such an awful, awful um, thing to deal with. I'm drinking a fantastic beer and it is, it's gobsmackingly nice, it is, it's a top class sour and, uh, and even so I'm still bloody miserable. <sighs> I need to kick my own arse and I over, <coughs> and I don't know about anybody else but I overthink so so much and I always look at the you know there's that song always look at the bright side of life well I'm I'm the other side <laughs> yeah. always look at the crap side of life and that's me I ex expect things to go the wrong way expect things to fail and do this and do that probably why I've never won the lottery because I don't expect to ever win it you know it's uh, yeah hmm. nice and thick um on the mouth the mango is just sublime um i know it's classed as a sour beer but this to me is a mango tour de force um one of the best beers i've had this year yeah absolutely hits the spot in a way that you know if you love your fruit certain certain different fruits this is the brewery this for me is a beer of the year a good 4.66 absolutely top notch it's amazing how my beers um my palate has changed to some of these amazing beers cheers vault city and Bolt City Wendy. Keep seeing her on Instagram. I presume she's the brewer or head brewer or one of the brewers at least. Um, but yeah, um, like I say, came down to Nottingham last year, did a collab with Neon Rats. We're doing collabs all over at the moment. One at Vocation, one at Formbridge. They really are getting their nose out there. And it's great to see, you know, as a Nottingham person, uh, this collaboration with breweries up and down the country, it's mutual collaboration because 
some people may not have heard of Vault City, but they know of Neon Raptor and vice versa. And it's a good thing, you know, it is. And a, but it's also great to see, you know, what's produced. And for them brewers, it's a great day for a piss up. And uh, you're not telling me they aren't pissed out their faces. Well, I would be. Yeah, good day for getting drunk. Anyway, cracking beer. Great work, Tesco. Um, Tesco beers on Instagram. I will message. I will tag you. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you all for watching. See you later.